Oh, hello. Thank you for stopping by. Um, you know, I did a video not too long ago, well, a while ago, that seemed to be very well received. Maybe it's because you like seeing me without makeup on. But today I want to do a makeup that I show you from beginning to end that I do when I am like really wanting to pull out all the stops, when I really feel like, oh my God, I need every single arsenal in my vanity. So I'm gonna share that with you today and more of a dressy makeup, more of like what I do if I'm going on air, if I'm going out. Um, so I'm gonna show you all my little tricks of the trade that I used to do on you when I had my makeup store, but I do on myself. The next thing I wanna tell you is if you notice, I am sitting down, that's very important, and I always have a magnifying mirror in front of me so that I can see every possible flaw. So my recommendation to you if you can, would be to sit down and have your favorite drink, which mine is coffee, in your mug. You tend to want to stay longer when you're sitting. Okay, so let's get started. And it always starts with primer. And so I'm going to use my spackle under makeup primer. The one I'm using today is the champagne spackle. I like to put it on the back of my hand. And then I basically just put it on my face and everywhere except not my eyelid underneath my eyes and that's the first thing I do because what I do is I let it set I go to my eyes and by the time I come back to my face for foundation really that's like set matte and now I'm ready for foundation the other thing I do is my waterproof eye spackle and concealer it could be used as concealer it can be used as your eye primer it waterproofs your eye makeup and when I go to put concealer on or eyeliner, it waterproofs your liners, your shadows, and another little tip. So, and by the way, you have to prime this a number of times till you see it flow through. So you just turn it, but don't go crazy because too much will come out and you'll lose it. So just keep doing it. It's not broken. It's in there. I even put it in my eyebrows because it will waterproof any brow preparation that you put on top. And should I tell you the other secret? I do it around my lips. It highlights your lip, it makes your lipstick stay longer, and it prevents your lipsticks from feathering and migrating or your lip glosses, whatever your preparation is. Okay, so let's, that's it. You just put it on and use your finger. If you are a brush person, you can use a brush to rub it in, I don't care. There's no rhyme or reason, just put it on and cover the whole circumference of your eye, your eyebrow, and Sometimes you could even leave it like that if it's a natural everyday look, a little liner, mascara, and brow. Not even worry about shadows. And there's been those days that I've done that. So I prime my face, I prime my eyes. Now I'm gonna jump in and do my eye makeup. So one of my secrets that I talk about all the time when I'm presenting my eye Kajal pencils, this one is Smoky Quartz. Not all of them can do this, is I use it as eyeliner. Now, not eyeliner, eyeshadow. And I want to just explain something. When you put this on, again, no rhyme or reason. Now, it is a darker color, but remember, I talked about doing more of a smoky eye look. I'm not being careful. I'm just putting it on and using my finger to rub out the edges so you don't sort of see where the line begins and ends. But get it along the whole eyelid. There are days, I'm not going to lie, I put this on, I add black pencil across the top, and that's all I do. Well, that's a lie. I put eyebrow and mascara. I can't be without the three E's, which is eye line, uh, eye line, eye brow, and eyelash. So I always do those three things. So I just put it on and I get the smoky eye look from Smoky Quartz. The other pencils that you can do this with is, I think, Antique Bronze, maybe. And that's really it. There's not a lot of uh, rose gold, petal pink. Those are light colors, but you can do it with that. Okay, so I did that. But I have this new palette that I'm very excited about. And it has 31 shadows. And we even tell you on this palette, like your base color, your inner color, your lid. Your, we give you suggestions for each row. So since I already did the color on my lid, I'm gonna use the base color in here under my brow with one of our eyeshadow brushes because I like to highlight under my brow. I like to, it's like an eye lift. And also you'll notice when I do my eyebrow color, it helps you sort of 
define your brow, it makes it easy for you to follow your own line. Now you can pick any shadow in this palette. You could do a shimmery one. This is like a beigey color and it just lifts it. But then I feel like I need a lot of help today. I have this dual ended sponge um, applicator that I love. It's like a flock sponge. I'm gonna use a light color and I'm gonna go inside my eye just to create a little bit of brightness. I like to take my finger and just blend it a little bit. It may look bright right now. I am using a shimmery one from this palette, but you see, you'll see in a minute why it made sense because it's not gonna stay that way. But already I feel like, woo, I just brightened under my eyes and around my eyes. Okay, wait, wait. Now I'm gonna line my eyes. And we have a great pencil called Simple Strokes. Um, it's double-sided. And I am going to even bring a mirror closer to me right now. And I'm gonna line at the top of my lashes with one side of it. Hang on. And you know, listen, I'm gonna tell you the truth. If you want it to look good, you gotta take a minute. You can't like rush a liner. You can't rush an eyebrow. You know, the other stuff you saw, it takes seconds. So if it means that you have to take, you know, a second longer with your liner, as an example, or your brow, so then you take a second longer, okay. So on both sides, it's black. I'm using the jet black color because I always like to see black. I just think whether you're porcelain all the way through a deep complexion, what it does is it absolutely makes your separation from your shadows stronger. And it's a roll up and roll down. So you do whatever you need. So let's do both eyes. Um, I go at the base of the lashes. My elbow is now on top of my table so that my hand is more steady. So for those of you who have a shaky hand or are thinking right now, well, you're a makeup artist. You can do a good job with that. I can never see my eyes. That's where your magnifying mirror is really important. And some of you know who you are. You may shy away from using one because you don't want to see up that close. But to me, I always say, take the 10 time makeup mirror challenge, because if you look good in 10 time makeup mirror challenge, you can go out into bright sunlight and know you look good. Um, I'm gonna do the waterline, but later, because my eyes are a little um, watery today, so I don't wanna add it to my waterline yet. But that same Kajal that I told you about in uh, Smoky Quartz, I'm gonna use under my lower lashes. So now what's happening, everyone, is that I'm balancing what's on my lid and I'm meeting the quartz to the black line on top. So I meet them together. Now what's happening is that you look more harmonious in your, you don't look like you have a different color under your lower lash, a different color on your lid. It's really a very soft, you can play it up if you want to and you can use different colors, but this is really how I do it and I meet the liners together on the outer corner, it lifts the eye a little bit. And then after I'm done, I'll look at my eye and I'll say, oh, I need a little color and I'll show you how we do that. But for now, I'm gonna give my eyes a rest. I'm gonna go my, to my brow and I'm gonna use my Sculpt and Stay eyebrow in dark brown. Dark brown, by the way, is good for anybody with medium brown hair to deep brown hair. And the best part about this, and we wanna O award for best brow product is I'm just making simple little mimicking hair strokes and I do it with the single um, part of the brow um, pencil up straight when I'm on this area and as I go to the other part of the brow I just rest it and create the shadowing effect and I pull it out here where I have very little hair I mean when I say very little like I was told by a derm once that the reason why we lose our hair out here is from sleeping on a pillow all the time and eventually the hair doesn't grow as strong in that part. On the other side of the Sculpt and Stay is a clear gel. What that's gonna do is groom it if you made a little mistake and it's also gonna set your liner. And you'll excuse me for a moment while I dab under my eyes and around my nose, sorry. This is what I do. Okay, so again, watch what I do. This is the area where most of us do not have hair. It's very thin in this area. 
So straight up, straight up. And, you know, I never speak to this, but it's so important that I'm going to share it with you now. You got to take your time when you're doing your brow. Even if you have much less hair than me, or even if you have tons of hair, if you want it to look groomed, you can't like go like that and think it's going to be okay. You got to really take your time. This and eyeliner probably are the two things that will take the most amount of time in your makeup routine. I create an arch and I work on top of my eyebrow um, as opposed to down lower because I'm trying to get a lifting effect out of my eye. And if the brow can help me do that, and just remember no two sides of your face are the same. That's the way it's supposed to be. So don't panic if your brows don't look even. Um, you know, that's not necessarily what you're trying to do. You're trying to make sure that you do the best you can to just make them look fuller because fuller equates to looking more youthful and it frames your eye. So I love this part because I didn't do my mascara yet. I didn't do my concealer yet. So now I'm going to do my concealer because I know what a difference it's going to make when I look at my eyes and I go, I still look so dark. So I'm using my Real Deal. This is our improved formula, which means it still has the same, and I'm using medium, it still has the same amount of coverage as that original Real Deal, except it glides on so much nicer. And I'm just using my finger, like I'll put it on my finger, you can do it on the back of your hand, you can use a brush if you want to, we have concealer brushes. And I want to just teach you a little, look at the difference that makes, by the way. I want to just teach you a little trick. You're going to put most of it in here. Don't forget to go in this area. But when you come out here, use it as a stencil to clean up. Maybe you did your eyeshadow and you came out too far. It will clean up and make everything look lifted. And so um, I like doing that because sometimes a little liner comes out from the other side. I'm just using my finger. They say a ring finger is the way to do it because you put less pressure on the eye tissue, the skin around the eye. So I would probably recommend that we all do that and get in the habit of that. And I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, a lot of brown marks. So sometimes I'll just, you know, there are days I just will do my concealer because it matches my skin so well and I do more of a stippling. And it will give me the coverage I need, just enough. And sometimes I'll just run around like that if I don't want to wear a full face of foundation. I have a lot of brown spots on my nose, so I'm stippling, stippling, stippling. Because when you stipple, you press it in. When you, you know, wipe it, you're massaging it in, but you don't get as much coverage as when you stipple. And I always have redness under my nose. Um, so sometimes I'll just do that and that's enough. But I always talk about being the lazy girl guy to makeup. So my double take foundation or balance and brighten or balance and glow, I love them all. But if I'm going on air and I need coverage, I use my double take. In the bottom of it is a sponge or sometimes we package it separately. I use the pink side. The white I like to use for when I wet it. And I have to tell you, this is what I do. There's a mirror in here. Like I'll literally just go like this to set the concealer. And one, two, three, I can use the mirror if I don't have a mirror handy if I'm on the go and I want to add more coverage. But like, this is what I do. Now, could I have done my foundation first and my concealer first? Yes. But very often, you'll put eye makeup on you won't even notice that what you've done is things flake down below. And when you do that concealer, it cleans everything under the eye. If you're somebody who makes a big mess, let me suggest maybe one of our wipes. You just wipe underneath or a purity wipe, whatever you have that you like. Um, I blend along my jawline. Sometimes I come down here from wearing something low and I'm going out because I have a lot of pigmentation on my chest too. But for me, this is all I need. This is going out and on air. And I love the double take because in two seconds, I feel like I have coverage, but I don't feel masky at all. It's not thick. It's because it's baked. Um, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use bronzer because I like to look a little warmer these days. This is um, a palette that we have called Bake Bronze and Brighten. It's not, that's the not the name of the palette, but in here are all my cult classes, classics like Bake Bronze and Brighten, my Pink Buttercream Blush, there's French Vanilla, there's another highlighter in here. Um, just a minute, I need my Cat is Life readers. 
Are these not fabulous? Okay, so we have French Almond, which is a really warm highlighter, and then we have our original French Vanilla in here, and three beautiful shadows, and of course our pink buttercream. But let me just explain, just get your bronzer on. Like, where I don't want you taking a million hours is on things like this. Like, you don't have to be, you know, people go make a C or make an E. I'm like, just get it on. Like, when you get color on your face, not that we're supposed to, we get it everywhere, right? We don't just get it like in a three. So I never understood that, why people say that. And this is buildable too, but I put it everywhere. And I'm not gonna lie. Wait a minute, excuse me, everybody. Excuse me, excuse me. I always have a runny nose. I don't know what that is. And by the way, this is what I do when I'm on air, when you don't see me. If my nose runs, I go like this with my double take to re, because I always, that redness comes through. But when I'm on air, between us, nobody else is watching, right? I'll take the bronze and brighten, right? And I'll do it underneath my cheekbone. So I add a little bit more to create some contouring effect. You could start to see it looks like I have a cheekbone, which I used to have when I was 20. And I'm only 25, I don't know where it went. And then I do it underneath my jawline, just down here, because dark recedes, light brings forward, right? I'm showing you every trick I do when I go on air, especially. So it blends right into everything else. It's so seamless that you don't even have to worry about blending so much. And then remember that flocked applicator that I used to lighten inside my eye? I'm gonna use that for the French vanilla, but the larger side, and I'm just gonna come along the top of my cheekbone. And ready, ready, sitting down, watch this. I'm gonna set that French vanilla, that concealer, with the French vanilla. It's gonna brighten under my eyes and I'm gonna lift out here so it starts to brighten everything. You can use French vanilla in a pinch as your concealer if you wanted to, but I especially like this low glow. There's not an ounce of frost in here. This palette is a palette you're gonna live by, this big palette with the iconic products in here. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna, like this is a must. I don't, I use this like every day because it's got all my stuff, my bronzer, my pink buttercream, my French vanilla, my eyeshadows. Okay, so you saw that. Then I even take French vanilla and I bring it right down the bridge of my nose because light brings forward. So what you're doing is you're calling attention to the middle of the nose. And if you wanted to, you can use the bronzer just down the sides. You don't have to be fancy, but it gives a little sculpting to your nose. Same brush. I mean, like I said, lazy girl guy to makeup, please don't fuss, just like get it on. We do the heavy lifting, I always say that. So this is pink buttercream, I like to say an inverted V. So up into the temple, because it brings attention here, not so much here, above here, into the temple. And then what I do is what's left on my brush, or I'll add a little more, I just wipe across my lid. So now my eye makeup and my face makeup start to harmonize and I don't look like one color, one color. Everything starts to come together. Um, but if I'm looking at myself now, truth be told, I feel like I need a little warmth on my eye. And that happens a lot with us. If you put shadow on, it starts to look like I need a pop of color. So with this palette, there's so many great colors, but this is like a a reddish brown color in here. Let me put my Caddis Life eye readers on. Not that I need them. Oh, we don't have a name to it, but it's a very pretty reddish brown color. It says outer corner. It's in the row for outer corner. But like I said, you be your own artist. So I like to put it in my crease. It warms up my makeup a little bit. It just adds a little something. And you can do this with any of these tones that are have this more or less like brown red color. It's one of my favorite little tricks. It warms up your eye makeup. Now I'm going to leave the best for last, which is mascara, and I'm gonna jump to lip. I, I do that on purpose because I always feel like mascara is the icing on the cake, and I love knowing that it's gonna get better. So I take, um, these are our, let me tell you the name, waterproof lip liners in Modern Classic, and the color I'm using today is Beautiful Berry. And when I have the time, and I take the lip pencil, I'll try doing that and talking. When I have the time, 
I really do a lip pencil because it makes my lip look so much fuller. And because it's waterproof, it stays. And you can fill in your whole lip with this. So I'm just going to show you. No, 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 just follow your own. I work on the outside corner. Um, so I'm going to just tell you, just like your liner on top or the bottom, that's what takes time in your brow. This should take a few seconds. You have plenty of time to play here. So if you make a boo-boo, just use your finger. Now, because I love this lip liner, hmm, I look very full. Hmm. But because I love this color, and it's more holiday from this time of year, um, I'm going to fill in. So you just take it. They glide on so nicely. They just glide on. It's waterproof which means it's more transfer resistant. It's probably gonna last so much longer than just a plain lipstick or something like that. And so what if your point breaks? Don't be so hard, I, I was a little rough on that. Uh, and just come in and fill in. Mm. I just, I love this color. It's just such a pretty color. But what I like to do, excuse me again, is I like our tinted lip oils so I'm going to tell you which color. I'm using first place. This is a treatment oil, but because it's such a great conditioner too, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit on in here, not my whole mouth. Well, I'm gonna do a little up here. If you ever wanna know how to make your lips look fuller, just do a little, cheat it over here and here. Nowhere else. So. What happens when you do lip liner, to be very honest with you, you can't do that with a lipstick, is you get a much more sculpted mouth. And similar to eyeliner and eyebrow, when you sculpt, everything comes alive again. So I want to do my mascara now. And we have a beautiful mascara called Love Your Body Volumizing Mascara. Um, I don't have my curler here, but there are times that I will curl my lashes first because they just look so much better. But if you're not a lash curler person, don't even bother because I don't want to start recommending that you do that. If you are, I'd recommend that you do that first and then you put on your mascara and you know, do it to your heart's content. But I will share with you that there are times I look in the mirror and I'm like, uh-oh, I need some more help. And more help for me means I'm pulling out all the stops and I may use a pair of false lashes. Now, I will do a tutorial at another time for those of you who feel like you need to learn how to do it, but I will tell you that you need to take your time with that. So if you are like me and you don't wanna spend that kind of time, then don't bother. I would also tell you to make practice makes perfect, meaning do it when you are not going out, get it you know, so that you understand how to do it and then when you are going out, you'll have really taken your time beforehand to get the perfect lash. But another thing that a lot of people don't do is their lower lash. And to me, you have to balance your eye. So please do your lower lash too. Um, if you make a mistake, you know those um, makeup Q-tips that don't have a lot of cotton on them? Wait for it to dry. Don't try to attack it and go, <gasps> and then you try to attack it and you smudge it everywhere. Wait for it to dry, take one of those makeup Q-tip tips or even a strong tipped, um, even the applicator, the sponge applicator, it'll fly right off from if it's dry. So don't attack it when it's wet. Another little tip. Always get those outer lashes. I like to add more to the outer lashes and almost sculpt them coming outward out here, right? And like I said, when I'm not in a hurry and I really want to take my time to pull out all the stops, I'll put on a good, good amount of coats and mascara um, because to me, that's what's opening. So brow shapes and frames your eye. Mascara opens your eye and liner brings out the shape. Even if you're hooded, you need liner. So I can't express enough how important those three areas are. So I won't bore you by keep putting this on, but that's just mascara. Now, I think it looks okay, but you could always do lashes if you wanted to. So I'm gonna do them, and if you're, if you're happy with how this looks, 
Oh, wait, just a minute. Maybe I don't need to do them yet. Okay, just a minute. It's holiday. Let me pull out a pair of my fabulous friend, Robin Falberg. She doesn't have a website, but she is on Instagram, and I get most of my jewelry from her. Um, a pair of my fabulous holiday earrings. Just a minute. Um, because sometimes just dressing up, wait, wait, wait for it, just dressing up your jewelry or even puffing your hair out. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Uh, I think I need another cup of coffee soon. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta find the back here, I know it. There it is. And then I'll put on one, of, this is a lip ring I got a million years ago. I love my lip ring. And then sometimes just taking, I love these old fashioned combs, sometimes doing a little back combing to your hair, you know, fluffing it up a little bit, a little spray. Girlfriends, you know what I'm talking about over here. You know, just, it just starts to make you feel more va 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 voom, and then I'll spray it. Sometimes you don't need the, the lashes, but the question is, should I do them? I don't know. I have one here, but now I can't find the other. Maybe I dropped it on the floor. Um, but I'll, you know what I'm going to do now? Because I'll do a tutorial with you guys another time. So let me just put one on to show you. I'm not even going to glue it right now. But to show you the difference it makes from one eye to the other. So I'm just going to rest it here. Just to show you that I can do that. Oh, maybe not. No, I can do it. I can do it. Watch. Watch. Look at the difference. And then you can see from one eye to the other. So I'd rather do the tutorial for you um, so that you can see how I do it. But basically, I'll use many different kinds of lashes. I always experiment. There's no one style. And all right, never mind. You get the idea. Okay, so that's it. That's my look. Oh, wait. If you want to, just a little tip, um, you can go into the shadow palette and there's some great little shimmery colors in here. And you can also use one of the shimmery colors, especially if you're going out for holiday, like this is a goldy color. And you can use one of these right on top of your uh, um, cheekbones um, and convert the whole look of your makeup by adding yeah, I don't want to see the line there, so make sure you blend that by adding this goldy shimmer on. And also you can add it under the eye. And now I've just completely transformed my eye makeup and my cheeks by adding a little bit of shimmer. So I hope you like my little lesson today. And um, I love hearing your feedback, so please share. And don't pick on me. Okay, bye.